Waste is what it is, waste, and almost everyone treats it as such, so much so that it is often dumped indiscriminately on the streets. A typical drainage channel in Lagos is characterized by mile-long plastics products, but one lady has since discovered that she could make money out of waste. Meet Adesua Makinwa, who converts waste to craft. Actually, the idea came in while I was walking along the road some time ago, and I saw bottles on the, you know, inside the gutter. Not only bottles, I saw cans, just waste piled up, and I was like, ah, this is a problem that needs to be solved. So I was like, okay, how do I solve this problem? Not everybody can afford these big machines used for recycling. So I was like, okay, I think plastic bottles, cans can be turned into valuable things, beautiful things, you, introducing crafts. She makes handbags, earrings, necklaces from pet bottles, pop tops, etc. She also goes to primary schools to teach pupils how to convert waste to craft. Mba Blessing is one of those she taught. She says she finds it quite fascinating. It's very interesting, it's very beautiful. There's a lot of fun introducing it. Um, it makes, um, it imparts knowledge and lots of creativity. They say now that they know what to do with waste, they will no longer watch their schools get littered. Environmental activist Desmond Maja Kudume tells us there are so many profitable things one can do with waste. The fast track way to get cash, and there are several agencies around now, including I believe our Loma and uh, the recycled people, is just to get the pet bottles, Put them in and they will give you cash for your plastic pet bottles. He says waste can indeed be a very good source of income. Billy Kisu Adebiyi knows all about making money from waste. She owns a recycling business that not just makes money for her, but is also a source of employment for others. We work with households that I encourage to sort out their recyclable waste. So that's their plastics, their metal, paper, cardboard and in exchange for sorting out their waste, they get redeemable points, which they can um, get, you know, redeem for prizes. So they can get household items, electronics, and even cash. When tires are recycled, you can get three basic products from that. We have something called carbon black. It's a powder and it's black in color. That's why we call it carbon black. There's an oil called furnace oil. The furnace oil can be used to fire big machineries and then we have base oil. Base oil needs further processing into engine oil. So you see that nothing is a waste really. What we do with our waste, we've been told, could go a long way in determining how clean the environment becomes. It will also affect the economy in a way that much money is not spent on sorting trash or producing things from the scratch. This is the Lagos State Waste Management Authority Waste Hub, operated in tandem with independent recyclers. Ample time and effort are expended here, sorting category by category, compiling before they are sent for recycling or reproduction, as the case may be. Power supply is a major challenge now facing the country. Experts say if converted, the piles and heaps of waste dotting the country can be converted to energy. A city like Lagos, with the large population that we have, a lot of the electricity that we use in Lagos could actually come from our organic waste. It's a great cycle to get into. And there are some cities that have really organized it well and they're actually running the majority of their electricity power comes from the organic waste of human beings. And that's not just the food waste, but also the excreta waste. There is wealth indeed in waste. Everyone is encouraged to start seeing the opportunities in waste, as it will not only be economically viable, it will also keep the environment clean and conducive. Wendy, about TVC News, Lagos.